Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Scavenger series. Last time, ladies and gentlemen, we got enough items to be able to upgrade the laboratory and also update the nutrition center. Now, they're all both done. It seems like they automatically do it themselves, so we didn't have to, have to worry, about, worry about doing it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there are some crafts that we can do. Like, I want to look at doing magazine case, uh, grenade case as well, just for the fun of it. And there's a few other ones that I, I want to take a look at. But got that up and running. Nutrition Center is also up and running, which is really nice. You can do this as well. Get all that XP. Very cool. And I think that was it. Now, today, we need to go out and try and find that stinking hammer. Because that hammer keeps evading us. Well, I should say it's evading us. More along the lines of the backpacks are evading us. Because we can just never find those darn backpacks. And today... Hoping that we can find one and get the sledgehammer going so we can get the defective wall going and have some fun after that. I think that was about it for updates wise today. So, that being said, let's head out, let's take our scav, find a bigger backpack, and let's go get that sledgehammer. We're gonna start off an interchange today and then probably go over to streets and some other maps as well. Are you ready? We are already off to a good start this morning because. Well, I went to go load in and we lost one scav already, but good news, we have a backpack, which is nice. Also, I should also mention when I say lost a scav as in lost in raid, we didn't actually spawn in. It started to spawn in and then it was like, um, you want to actually play? No, 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 you can't. <laughs> so we finally got it now. Let's go to the back of the mall and see if we can locate this sledgehammer that we've been looking for for well technically four episodes now but it's all good well should, okay maybe two episodes i may be exaggerating slightly on that one because we haven't really been looking for it that often let's take a look here let's see if we can find what we got mre i am going to start collecting food and whatnot as well along the side because we are going to be having all the fun stuff coming up soon tool set we need Nails we need. Do not need any water filters anytime soon, so we'll keep going. All right, back in the mall. Here we go. Please, oh please, let me find that sledgehammer. I need to find some fleece as well. As long as I can like find the fleece before the sledgehammer timer is done, then we're okay. Then I, because I believe if you if you don't do it beforehand, you lose out on the benefits. Now is it a huge deal? No. I would still pre prefer to get the, you know, the, the door unlocked and get inside as soon as possible. But it would be nice to be able to get that as well. We'll keep searching, see what comes up, of course. Um, and that's kind of why we want to go over to streets, because I feel like I've been seeing a lot of fabric on streets of Tarkov. And that's mainly the reason why I want to go there. Okay, so we know where to check. We just got to hope that the luck of Tarkov was placed into our grasp and there's actually a hammer waiting for us. Such hammer's not there. Let's go over here. Is there one in the back here? I do not see one. What about over here? Nothing. Okay. Well, that's not a good sign. Let's just keep searching. Nothing along that wall. Check the bag, see if there's anything good inside. And like I was saying before, like an interchange, you, you you do have a chance to find like fleece, rip top, a rip, a rip stop, and all the other stuff on this map because it does have a lot of spawns. Like the clothing shops typically will have them there, not always, but they typically do. What else you got? It's epoxy. I guess we could take that. There are a few other places I want to check around Goshen for the hammer because if we don't find it on the or on the main drag i think we can also possibly find it by like where the the, the the big stack of fire is at we can check for it there as well oh, i saw it for a minute i'm seeing things more thermite whoa i just teleported backwards <gasps> hammer oh, i see the hammer well we got what we're needing so Let's make some room here. Boom, boom. Honestly, we could just grab this thing and then get out. Not like we're 
completely need anything else at the moment. Let's do that. Drop painkillers. Take bats. Take you. Elite pliers. Sure, I'll take those. And some defuel. I need defuel. We need two more after this as well. So we'll be keeping an eye out for the defuel for sure. Mm, we are full up. If I can find a backpack or not backpack, but a better a better rig outside with one of the scavs that are probably dead, then we'll come back and loot up a little bit more. Let's see what we've got. We already got the metal parts we need, but we are gonna need more. And aqua peps, I don't actually need for anything, so we can drop those. Yeah, we got some options here. Where are all my scab brethren that are all being killed? Are you down here? Mm. You're alive. There may not actually be any dead. What time is it in the raid? 21? Oh wait, no, there is one dead. How the heck did I miss that? Because I'm blind, right? That's probably what it is. Wait. Is that a bigger backpack? Or rig? Not backpack? It is. Drop that rig. Take this one. Okay. We can go loop a few more items. And if we find a bigger rig, we'll, of course, swap out that one. I think Killa's here. I'm hearing an RPK go off, and it kind of sounds like the way that Killa shoots. Yeah, I think he's here. We obviously have to be careful of him as well, because even though we're a scav, we don't have the karma level to, well, not tick him off, basically. He will still be very angry with us. He's going to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're not passing the vibe check to me, bro. I'm going to have to kill you. And we're just looking at him like, why, man? Why? We can check for a battery as well. No batteries there. Let's go to the back side here. I'm just going to check the couple areas here if there is a chance to find a battery and if not we'll get out from there and there's no battery on that shelving unit there however i did see one item over here that i want so we'll grab that it's the tubes take that well you know what let's go over here because they're there could be more that like spawn over here on the side and I could use more of those because I need to get more of those and you get more of the insulated tape so we can get some more of the cables going. I actually need the motor as well. Not cables, the hose. I don't know why I said cables. We need to get the hose up and running. Run that. And I believe that is everything. All right, let's call it good. Let's get out of here. Take our winnings, and that way we can at least get the defective wall started. And then we'll go over to, like I said, streets after this. I wouldn't mind actually going to the lighthouse again today. That is something I want to do. Maybe get some PvP going with some players or some scab, or not scabs, but rogues. And kind of build up the supply for the PMC as well. Because I have to keep that in, in the back of my mind as well, that... I am trying to supply our PMC with like the best gear as much as possible with our scab only. So the way every time we go into a raid, he's good to go. He's got everything he needs and he's like well suited for every raid he goes to. Granted, this is also Tarkov though, which means anything can happen. I could be wearing the best gear and get shot once in the face and die. <laughs> there is also that. Sound like everyone was still in the middle of the map shooting, so. I think we're decently okay we're running to the exit now without any people around us. Oh, there's literally a scab on top. Okay. And as I say that, there's somebody camping. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> At least lay down, dude, if you're gonna camp it. There's a PMC.
Well, good luck, guys. I believe in you. I would join you in the hunt for the PMC, but we are looking. Okay, so he's looking for us. He wasn't camping. See, that's me presuming something, which he was not actually doing. I apologize. Let's drop all this stuff. Oh, did I just take the hammer? I did. Whatever. That's fine. Remove all this stuff, and then we can go get that defective wall started. Another step completed. Let's get that upgraded. Three hours, and again, we'll keep looking for that fleece at some point. We'll have that up, up and running as well. And I believe that was all we were really doing. We could look again, Ragman, up to a little bit of a little bit more money sold. I do have a bunch of items that I technically really don't need. I'm gonna sell the bucket helmets. Sell the armor. I, I am keeping this rig because there is the trade that we can do. Sell that, sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this. Cool. A little bit extra money sold to you. Mechanic, is there anything I want to sell to you right now? Uh, let's sell that. But everything else I think we're going to keep. All right. We got the item specifically which we were looking for for today. Let's take a look over time at the place here. Illumination, can I work on you? I need generator level two, security level two, which means now we need, we do need to basically put all of our focus onto the defective wall. So I'm gonna pull up the list in between these, the, you know, the, between this clip and the next one, and get the full list of items we're gonna need for the defective wall for the next upgrade, because we're gonna have to have that ready to basically, you know, start everything up. Cause then we got that plus the gym set up and then we'll have the ability to work on endurance and strength and all that. So I'm gonna get that list set up and I'll see you guys in the next raid. So taking a look at the list of things that we actually need to collect, it's not that bad actually. And we also got a really nice amount of items here. I think I'm actually gonna shoot this off for the fun of it. Let's equip this. Can't find any place to use it. Can I just do it like that? There we go. For the fun of it, do what you had on you. You had another AKM. Maybe he has some medical. But yeah, we only need to find one insulated tape. We need to find metal spare parts, which not even that many we need, like four of them, I believe. And then we need a metal metal cutting scissors, and that's it. Everything else is in our in our scab junk box, which is awesome. So we are in very good spot for hitting up the rest of the defectable and also the gym. So it's pretty much gonna be in a row getting everything done real fast. And then we could focus on getting the levels going, get some food going, get some XP for the PMC, and we will be at level five before you know it. Uh let's see here. I think I'm gonna start across here. I am definitely going to be checking a lot of filing cabinets because we need to find insulated tape. Not only do we need it for the upcoming stuff for the defective wall in the gym, but we're also, of course, needing it for more of the hoses, which we do need hoses and we need to get the insulated tape. So we have a lot of things we still need to collect. And I love it. A lot of fun tasks to still work on. I'm just going here real quick to see if I can find some intelligence because I have yet to find any. I'm going to need it to, because we're going to need it for the intelligence center for when we get to that point. Get the herring. Oh, we got something. Nice. Okay. Just another item for our PMC to identify. More money. This room is... This room is kind of like... Or I should say, like, the office space here is, like, hit or miss. Sometimes you get like a ton of good of items and then sometimes you literally get nothing. There's another item. We'll get those both identified with the, with the PMC. Like like right now we're getting a decent amount of like, like not rare but like higher loot. And there's some days I get nothing, but I always gotta check it. Always gotta check because there's always a chance for like a Bitcoin being in one of those spots. And that's, you know, pretty big money. Anything here, let's take a look. And getting this backpack and also the rig that we got. It's just a lot of room to work with, so this is good. In there. We got a hot rod. Looks like that's all there is for this room. Stutters aren't horrible today. There are still a few little, a few stutters here and there though. 
But I think that rollback did help for sure. Screw nuts. Yes, lamb. I don't need the yellow uh, kite powder, so we're not going to grab that. Is there a box? There is. I will take. Oh, and we're also going to be looking for the Bulblux. Bulblux? Bulbex. No, it's a Bulbex. It's a, uh, for the. Oh, which one is it? The generator. We need that for the generator. Uh, so we're going to be looking for that, and we're also looking for two more relays. And then we'll have the generator all set and ready to go, too. Because since we found that uh, that motor from the last episode, we uh, we're all set with that. Or no, this episode. Yeah, last raid. Gosh, things mixed up so much. Um, but yeah, we're very very close to what we're trying to hit. Um, we can go at the back of the mall here, because there is a filing cabinet. Plus, there's a chance to find some other loot as well. So we'll check that. And I think we're gonna do with the gnome row. We'll go over towards the office or the office, but the. Uh, I know it's an office building technically. Yeah, we'll go towards the office building and see if we can find uh, more of the insulated tape and some of the other well, the armor inside of the other stuff there too. Did you open the door? Oh shoot, they've been inside there. Okay, never mind. Cancel that plan. Someone's been through there. That's literally where the loot was where I was gonna check. A dead player here. Might as well search you and get the XP for that. Cause I just want to have, I mean, the biggest like benefit for our scav, at least for right now, would be to get higher search searching and then getting our metabolism up. And just those are probably our biggest two points of like attraction to do this, this these type of tasks. And well, I guess series in, in a sense. Of course, getting like a rifle skill and stuff like that up would also be nice. So we have better control when using these weapons. So a couple other goals that we can focus on. I know we're obviously trying to get the PMC to be used more often, but at the same time, you know, I enjoy doing stuff with the, you know, since this is the scavenger series, I want to put a lot of focus also on the scavenger himself. And I'm also really looking forward to getting daily tasks for fence as well. They're, they're kind of fun. They can be pretty fun. Ooh, moonshine. Nice. And we got some medical. All right. So I shall take both of them because I really don't have much medical. Got airdrop coming in. See what we got here. Money. Some BS ammo. And a map. It's not enough BS ammo for me to consider taking. Rip stop. No, thank you. It's so loud. Actually, I may need that that lighter. Now I think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna take that lighter. Uh, I think our airdrop came in. Pretty sure that's from what we did. So we'll go check check that out quickly. Let's see if it landed in the row over here or not. Yeah, it may have actually landed. So let's go take a look. Isn't there a way to get over there from here? I think there is. If I see about a billion scabs run this direction. Uh, then I know we're good. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. Get to the loot first, so that way we start searching everything. Yep, there it is. I can see the uh, the glow from it. Yeah, it actually came in, but it took a little while. It's about seven minutes since, uh, since we've been in. What the heck is shooting at me? Oh shoot, someone already get there? I think there's already someone there. Man, people are fast. Is that up? You haven't seen. No, it's a scab, right? What's up, buddy? Hello. Ain't much in here. Taking my stuff. Oh, he's literally dropping it all. I'm putting it back in. I just wanted the experience. 
It's got a bunch of food in here, so we will actually take the food. We have the uh, stuff in mind what we want to actually grab. But since it's a medical one, we should take advantage of collecting all the food now or later. Anything worth it up here? Not really. It's all food. Vodka. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. It was not worth checking that out, but well, I guess technically it could have been. Let's jump over that. Okay, let's get over to, oh, what do you call it, um, over to the other office building so we can go check for the installation tape. And we found another, another, I almost said scab, we found another player. So we're locating all of the players that are at least still around. Wait, is there two more? I think it's two more dead people. Okay. Were you already looted? I'm going to guess you were, yeah. And then are you as well? Are you uh No, you're a PMC. What an interesting jacket. I don't think I've ever seen that jacket before. We could do this. Put everything in here. Go like that. Cool. Now we can take the bag. We got a little more storage. So let's go in here and let's see if we can Sure, I'll try and locate those insulate tapes. I think this everything has been looted, but I want to check it anyway. Give us what we're looking for, please. I'll be happy if you give it to me. Already got the duct tape, so we're all set with that. Like I said, it's a very easy list of items that we need. It's it's literally two items or three items technically. Easiest thing in the world. Let's make it happen, please and thank you. We got some food, which is good. I'm very happy we found that crate, actually. Now, I was running over, I was like, you know, maybe this wasn't worth going running that far. But no, it was. It actually was, in the end. Got some matches. Beard oil. Some more money. Doesn't hurt, too, because like I said, we can get the money up. Mmm... Do I want to check that out? Apartment eight. Maybe. I'll just I'll think about it. T plug. Oh, the G phone. They do sell pretty good. Apollos. All right. Well, let's. Oh, there's a bag here too. Clint, do I want to buy or want to take Clint? Nah, we don't need it. All right, I think we're gonna go over to the other office building. Hopefully, that has not been looted, and then search all those up as well. And of course, we'll go over to the construction site, and that should have a lot of options for us as well. Uh, let's take a look and see if. Mm, do I really want? Actually, what key is this again? Was that eight? Apartment eight. Oh, no, it's three. Um, let's check for the, the Skybridge key. We can check that out. Mm, screw nuts. Sure, I'll take those. Whoa, lag. There's no key. This is behind the, de the table here. Hmm. Nope. I think someone already grabbed it. Trying to figure out if that would it maybe have been a good place to check for higher loot again. Another phone. Okay. Well, they are definitely coming in handy. Let's see. Alright, let's go. Okay, I don't think anyone's been in here. Oh, this is really good then. A lot of options for us to find what we're looking for. Got matches. Wilson's. Now, I, I, I do at some point want to start grabbing everything for, um, for all the tabs upcoming, but 
not just yet. We, I think maybe after we get the gym up and running, we'll start collecting item seed for like all the different, what do you call them? All the different quests we're going to have to do for the PMC. I'm trying to figure out where this one is at. I think it's by, I think it's actually close by where we're at right now. Ooh, perfect. Okay, cool. We got our intelligence. This is really, really good. Actually, we may be very close to this key. I think about it. Whether it's got anything good, I don't know. But we can at least give it a, a check out. Yeah, I think it's literally the, the building behind us. Come on, give us what we need. But the intelligence is a really big item, so I'm very happy we got that. That is uh, probably the biggest positive we've gotten so far for this run. Another cord. I need to start running some more cords to get um, more wires. Because it seems like we're using a lot of wires, and I don't feel like I have enough. Is this thing full? Yes, it is. Metal parts, good, good. Happy that we're grabbing those things and actually being able to get them. Now, someone made a funny, made a funny comment. Um, I think it was yesterday that he's like, "You do, you should do, you should totally take some of these on like unmarked keys." Nice flash drive. I will take that. So you like, you should take some of these keys that are unidentified and see if you can actually unlock a door with them still unidentified. Because obviously, like certain shape keys, like if I see a key that looks, looks like apartment eight, I know it's for obviously for streets. But then again, I'm searching like a million doors for that. But at the same time, it'd be kind of funny if we got lucky and it actually worked. However, have, however, I don't know if you have to actually have the place, like if you have to have the key searched or not. So I might test it out on the scat, or not scat receipt, but the Ride to Riches account and see if it's even possible. Because it may not even be possible. But see, like that's another one. That's another one that, it, you know, I could possibly, you know, find the area and use it. But I don't know if that's possible. Light bulb, we're good. Strikes, no thank you. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I'm, I'm definitely not gonna risk it. We, we'd be literally searching for hours <laughs> to try to figure out what, where some of these keys go. Well, there's a lot of different locations. UV. Another key. What the heck? Again, so many keys. But we'll take them because it is free X XP, and I I can't say no to that. Aren't you gonna leave the rat poison? For the most part, everything I have in my inventory is pretty good. Um, no, don't don't grab it. Money is okay for right now. Like the only reason why I want the money is to work on the traders, but. Traders is not the focus of today. The focus is getting that defective wall down. Which, again, the way that the series works, there's a chance that the, it, the wall may be done beforehand. Uh, we can drop. Probably screw nut for now. We already have a lot of those at the moment. Okay. That's all of the cabinets we can check. And it should be right here inside this tower for apartment 8. So let's go on up. Number eight. Oh, is it not this one? Hmm. Maybe it's a different building. I'm gonna go outside quickly. I thought it was this one. It may actually be this building here. Let's take a look around. Is there a way to get inside this building at all? Don't know. I've never actually tried to open this door. Oh, it does actually open. Oh, okay. Then it may actually be in this building. Oh, number eight, right here. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Well, let's see what's inside. Maybe it's got some goodies that we didn't know about. It's crackers, wires. No, thank you. No, thank you. Wilston's. Okay. 
Probably not the best key, I'll be honest. Like, that you can actually get, so. No, but it was cool, though. It's worth checking since you get the keys, you know? And, like, after we identify the, the ones that we have with us currently, I'm sure we'll run into them again and while we're doing another scav run. And if we have that chance to unlock the doors, we'll definitely take it. Uh, now that we got what we what we have at the moment, let's currently head over towards, because I should have the ventilation. Let's take a look. Oh, the manhole. Yep. Um, let's head over to the construction site next and check some of the boxes over there see if we can find either metal scissors or find of some of the insulated tape or, or the metal parts. Then we can call this a run because it's been a pretty good run. And I would like to get that intelligence out too because we are getting very close to having that unlocked. We have to, once we get the gym unlocked and we get the endurance level two, we'll have the vents ready to go. We'll have security ready to go. And then it pretty much is almost ready to have intelligence running. Very, very close. Come on. Keck tape. I'll take the keck tape over the diary. Check all these. Energy and water is doing okay at the moment. Bolts I do not need. What about here? Oh, we got something. Oh, uh, I was hoping that was going to be a, a battery. Kind of crossing my fingers for that one, actually. Granada? Scab, are you feeling okay? Because there's no grenade. <laughs> That's a cruel joke you just played on your other scab friends. You can't just yell Granada in, in the middle of a, of a scab gang. You crazy? They'll start shooting you. I've never heard them actually yell that and then not be a grenade. Weird. Super, super weird. Huh. Nice. We're getting all the insulated tape that we need. I also need that. So we can drop. Let's drop. Let's drop the water because I can just buy that. Put these two in there. I need, I need to get one more insulated tape to make, make the hoses, but I also need to hold on to one insulated tape for the gym as well. Some squash. I don't want the light bulb. Let's just hope that we can find two more insulated tape. That would be nice. Bandages. There are a ton of toolboxes around here. I really like that. Many opportunities for us. D battery, kite. What about over here? Nope. Jeez, there are so many. Look at them all. Spawn rate's definitely going up. I guess there's the other relay I needed. Let's go take a look upstairs. If there's that many spawning in, then there's a chance there's probably even more upstairs. I'm just going to check just to make sure. I don't think so, actually. This is the last thing we could check. Alright, there's somebody out there. I think I see him. Yeah, they're PMCs. If um, they would have came the other way, I would have probably jumped on the turret and so I try to mow them down. That would have been actually a lot of fun, but they're out of our wheelhouse, so we're good. Couple more chances. Measuring tape. When I mean a few, apparently I mean like a ton, because there are seriously a ton of them in here. Check the bag. One's bugged out. Yep, 
AA battery. And nothing that one. Okay. We've got maybe two more chances because there's sometimes there's a double spawn of a toolbox over here. But we'll check the one that's inside probably. Yep, there's one. Give that a look over. And nothing. Okay. Not a huge deal. We will call that. Actually, I don't want to leave one micro slot left. I'll be mad at myself. Be like, why did I leave a single slot open for no reason? Well, I think we'll actually will at this point. Never mind. I'm not mad at myself. Oh, my Lanza. All right. We're out of here. That was a very good run. A lot of good items. A lot of explosions going off in the background. <laughs> We've arrived at the lighthouse. Let's go see what we can accomplish. I thought about doing this at night, honestly, but eh, daytime should be fine. We're going to head over to the rose area and attempt to get the rest of the items we need. And of course, we're going to be looking out for some of the other higher tier loot as well. Should be possible. Just going to take us a little bit to do, but we can make it happen. What do we got? Just seven mil. And a splint, and adrenaline, and a smoke, which I do not need. Luckily now, I don't need to grab anything giant like the sledgehammer. So we're in a lot better spot for that at least. Ooh, there's the metal scissors we need. Let's grab the tubes here as well. Let's take a look. Exits wise, we'll probably end up taking the zone gate out as per usual. Even if we don't like get any like, kills from the rogues it's still a really good area to come to the biggest problem is is that if you're like the late scab to the party over to the rogues area you're pretty much dead because the rogues will not put up with you. if you don't shoot them right away they will leave you alone it won't bother you there's someone shooting to my right i'm gonna go into the ditch here the uh. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, run away. <laughs> Glad I got into the ditch when I said I was going to, because otherwise I would have been dead. Let's see if we can actually do this. Because they're on high alert right now. And this may end up being us dying here, but we can still attempt it. Might as well. I mean, granted, we don't have to go to the rogue area. We could go to the village and call it good. But the loot is just so good in the rogue area. Can't deny it. I gotta stay in the in the ditch for a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna take the well, there's there's mines that way, so I kinda have to take the bridge. Oof. It's possibly our death, but we'll see. Let's get more run energy and we'll get across the way. Go. Okay, step one complete. Step two, go into the massive bridge, which will be in the open for quite a long time and probably going to get shot. But we're going to have fun trying to get over there. Okay, there's enough trees there that that, that, that seems to give us cover. I saw something jump in front of us. You got to be careful here. I don't know if that was a rogue or a scab or a player. Could have been any of them, and if it's a player, they'll be able to defend ourselves. And we're using a shotgun, so that will be a stretch, to say the least. I think there's a dead scab in front of me. Hello. We Gucci, man. I'll let him take his his uh, kills. I'm not gonna take his loot. However, I will start searching all this stuff and take everything else. Anything here I need? Technically, yes, I do need that. Way, 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 way down the road. But better off having it than not having it. That's what I say. So we're still looking for the specific items, which is like metal parts. Keep taking tool sets. Tool sets are not bad to have, actually. Oh, okay. The rogue's not mad. We're good. Oh, 
That rogue's mad at somebody, though. Got the cord. Rechargeable battery. I don't need that. Does this one open? It does not. Okay, so it's the one down there. Let's head backwards here, and then we'll check some of the loot over here. Just don't look in the whites of their eyes, and they'll be fine. They won't touch us. They'll be mad that we're here, and be like, I oh, got dirty scav scum. But they won't shoot us. It's all good. Don't worry about me. I'm not, I'm not a threat. Ish. I'm not that much of a threat. I'm slightly a threat, but that's fine. Okay, let's take a look through this area here. Measuring tape. T-plug. Doesn't look like there's anything really good. Okay. Wait. Yes! Yay! That's what I was looking for! <laughs> the TNT block. Okay, that means security is all set then. However, the one thing I do actually need to grab, I need to find one more uh, elite pliers, which will be very easy to find. It shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. But we need the one more elite pliers because we need one for the gym, and then we also need one of them for... Is there anything over here? No. Uh, we also need one of them for security level two. So I will be looking out for those. If we don't find it, you know, running through these th these different maps, it's fine. Interchange always has those elite pliers in the back of them all. So we'll just grab one from there. Grab that hawk. Uh, I know the pain will make a sail of but not worried about that. Ooh, nice iridium. So it sounds like PMCs are starting to come in. They're taking off the rogues as per usual. Affirmative. Yep, affirmative. Don't shoot me. I am not your enemy. The PMCs are. Oh god, it scared me. That scared me so much. <laughs> god. Many a heart attack right there. Uh, I will not be going up there. I can tell you that. Scav ahead. That's me. Ahoy, matey. Don't worry. I'm not here to shoot you or do anything weird. I'm here to loot. Share the loot with me and we'll have no problems. Let's see if there's anything over here. I'm mostly looking for defuel in this area. Because we got one more on interchange and we need one more in total, I believe, for the rest area. And then that's all set. I got something. It would take it for money. What do you got? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Let's go, I guess, to the back rooms over here. Back rooms may have something we wanted to look for. And actually, the train area is where we'll probably end up looting the la like our last area of. It does actually have a decent amount of loot. Oh, this was this opened? Yeah, this was opened. Someone's already gone through this. Whether they've gone through this, I don't know. But we'll check for some insulated tape. Looks like he'd only check the two, the two of them. I'm gonna grab that lighter, and I believe that's the last one we need anyway. Okay. All right. All right. That's everything. Being fired upon! Oh, not really, but you never know. Oh god, I'm so happy that I didn't break my leg. I thought I was gonna. Oh wait. Oh, I thought that was a dead person there. Never mind. Okay, we just have to hope that some scab does not tick off the rogues. Because there's probably one on that turret right there. We'll see when we pass by. I, can't, I think I saw one. But yeah, as long as they don't tick him off, we're good. Because we have to come back this way because the uh, the gate that we need to go through is right behind us. But we will cross our fingers that no one screws, screws us over from that. But we need to get all the way down to this warehouse here. This one has a lot of different, um, basically, tools that we can use for the hideout. So I need them goodies. 
All them goodies. I'll take every bit of them. Coffee. Suppose we can take that for now. Is there anything else that I can take back here? There's milk, but I don't really need milk. I mean, I could grab the milk. If, if there's nothing else that I really need, we'll grab the milk at the end. Take that for the metabolism for our PMC in the future. Nothing in that one. Let's take it slow as we're here just to make sure we're not missing anything. Check the jacket. Sorry, I had to deal with half cat there for a minute. Uh, okay, nothing. We'll check here. And nothing again. I feel like someone's already gone through this. Which is slightly unfortunate, but expected. Let's check the, the, the bed of the truck here. Someone... I think someone ticked off the rogue. Yep, I, I I think someone did. <laughs> Alright, well. Unfortunately, that brings our looting to a halt. Because I can't really go anywhere else because that machine gunner will hunt me down to the end of days. And I gotta rush this quickly. Ah! Yeah. I have to be very fast going across that gate because once I get past the gate, we'll be fine because it can't shoot us anywhere else. Bag. Take that. So we'll take that as well. Okay. Well. Yeah. Like I said, that brings our run to a halt. We're out of here. Can't do any more loot because he will be on my butt every five seconds. Or at least for this area. And there's, there's not really anything else we can check because I think once the one rogue starts shooting at you, they all start shooting at you. So. Whoever the, the stinking scab was that pissed him off. Thank you. I appreciate that so, so much. Make sure we get the stamina up. You're a bandit. Okay. Go, 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 go. There's no more machine guns we have to worry about now. So actually we could let's check this area. I was gonna jump over the wall, but maybe there's something over here that I don't know about. There's a box with some items here. Might as well take them so that I'm not wasting any space. Sure, we'll take it. Take it all. Random loot. Okay. Actually, not going to risk that jump because there may be a chance the other rogues will shoot at me. So I'm going to go around. And again, I should be s slightly good. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He's distracted. He can't shoot me from that angle. I don't think the turret actually fully turns that way. But let's get to the gate here and call it good. So the metal scissors was a plus and the TNT was a plus for us. Those are the biggest thing that we got out of this map. And of course we got some more items for our PMC to identify. And I guess technically the tube as well. The tube is also a good item for us, but yeah, that was um, not the best run, not the worst. I think I'll take that at the end. It's, it's all worth it. Back to interchange to finish up the episode here and hope to find everything that we need. It's got like a nice combination of everything to search for what we're trying to find anyway. So I figured why not we need to look for elite, uh, elite pliers. We need to find more middle middle parts as well. I think they call middle spare parts. Actually, I think that's, that's all they are called. We got the TNT block, which is good. And insulated tape. I almost forgot what the other one was. I was like, what is the other one? But it's insulated tape. That's the last other item we're looking for currently we have a long list of other items we're going to need for the future like a lot big thing too if i can 
basically keep an eye out for them is I need to keep an eye out for the, the batteries. We're probably also going to go look for them too since we're here. Rat cola, I'm guessing that's what it is. Let's see, yeah, it's got to be rat cola. Okay. Um, how much space do I got? Let's do this. Let's go through the back side first and search through there and see if we can find the elite pliers. And that will be like the first time. I've never seen insulated tape on the shelving before. This if I have, I don't remember this time, but you know, my memory is shot a lot of time, so there's a good chance that maybe I have seen. But I as as far as trying to recollect the memory of having that, and I don't. I don't remember seeing it. But we got a lot of toolboxes we can check, of course, and hope that we can find it that way. Come on, come on. And hoses. And if I can find hoses, that'll be nice as well. Other thing is. Oh, we got people talking back here. Hello? I don't know if that was here or if that was inside of Goshen, like farther in. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. Uh, looks like these shelves are all empty. Okay. Let's go check over here. Also need to keep an eye out for fuel. I was looking at obviously the crafts that we want to do for the upcoming future for like the grenade case and whatnot. Uh, I actually need a screwdriver. I'm going to grab that. And we're going to need a ton of different things to make that happen. Uh, a lot of wrenches. A lot of wrenches. I don't have to get anything done with wrenches, so I'm just going to leave it. But... Yeah, we, we need a lot of things because I, I, especially the fuel cans, like I said, they, it requires, it's required for a lot of the things I want to actually craft inside the lavatory. Screwdriver, contact, sure, we'll take those. Come on, give us what we're looking for. Although, if, the, if you want to keep giving me these, you know, metal parts, I'll take those as well. Oop. Got some lag going on. It's got to be outside, right? Yeah, it's got to be outside. I think what we'll do is we'll stop here at the halfway point and see if I can find a bigger backpack and a bigger chest rig. Because we are, you know, relatively full, but I would like to find something so I can keep going. So I want to go all the way through Ollie, check that out. So we got a little while to go, and I'm going to need more space for that. Oh, butch key. Oh, what's up, man? Are you real? Yeah, what's up? Yo, there's. You hear this shooting? Yeah, it's like outside. Yeah, do you, what level are you? Do you need Do you need the large Tashankas? No, uh, I do. I play this game a little different than most. I go on just to kill people. That's the time. Nice. I love it. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, I don't want to go kill those guys. Are you, did you check the Bitcoin spawn? No, I was in the back of the mall. The Bitcoin spawn over here. Yeah, by the um, by the lockers. Yeah, I just started playing. I'm level like 15. Oh, got you, man. You wanna well, go murder these dudes together? You know why not? I got a shotgun, but we can what make it happen. To, what are you trying to do? No, no, it's all good. We can go. We can go try to kill them. I mean, I have the world's worst shotgun. Hey, I got I have the second word, so let's let's make but it happen. <laughs> there you go. Let's make it happen. Oh Why my god, not? dude. Took a double tap. They well, stand the no light, chance. Dude, we got this. They stand no chance against these shotguns. Yeah, shoot them in the knee. Left knee cap. Corner, oh, corner. Right there. I think there's no one behind us. Oh no! <laughs> I had to do it. When someone gives you an opportunity to team up like that and have some fun, I gotta do it. It was pretty good though. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh no, it'll probably tell me on the next screen, right? Mm, maybe not actually. Dang. That was fun though.
It's whatever. We'll get this stuff in the next raid. It's not a huge deal. Funny part is right before he called it out, I saw him in the corner. I was about to be like, watch out. He's right there. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. It was a fun time. Ain't like I said, especially nowadays, if I have a chance to meet up with random people in the game and they want to uh, try to team up and kill something like PMCs like that, I'm down for that. Gotta have a little bit of extra fun because we have a long road ahead of us for this series. And yeah, it's you got to have a little extra fun while you're doing it. Uh, we don't have enough time for another raid. I mean, I could do another one, but I am trying to keep these episodes roughly around an hour. And we are about at that point anyway. So not a huge deal. We got about 46 minutes left on the defective wall. If this tells you anything, it, t it shows you. Granted, I do stuff in between these episodes or between the, the raids because it is 25 minutes in between. But yeah, this just shows you how long it takes to film one of these episodes. It's not a huge deal. I, I do love this, this series. It is a lot of fun, so it doesn't bother me at, like at all. Um, okay, that's right. We won't be able to shoot range anytime soon. That's going to be way down the line. I'm going to do this. I'm going to turn the power on and I'm going to start some more wires. So let's get that started. And at some point, actually, I may even do it tonight. I may, because I got to do a lot of editing. I've got, I just, because I just finished up a Ride to Riches episode. I'm finishing this one up right now. Finished up, well, technically speaking, for those that are watching my Starfield playthrough, I just finished up the whole series for the first playthrough and the second playthrough is already started and I'm doing a little bit of filming for that one this morning. So I've done a lot of editing today and I need to do some recording or sorry, sorry other way around. I did a lot of filming. Now I need to do some uh, editing to get all that stuff out for you guys, but it's fun. I mean, I'm having a lot of time. So I think I'm going to let this actually go all the way down because looking at the crafts inside the laboratory, we're going to need the big ones for a lot of the crafts we want to do. Let's take a look. Like if I want to do a, like for the magazine case, we're going to need the small ones. If I want to do the grenade case, I need two of the big ones. We currently have one empty, so I'm going to try to get another one empty out. We won't probably craft it right away because we need the resources for the stuff for the defective wall and the gym and also for the vents too. But that being said, we're still going to work towards that. Anywho. By the time this is done, we'll pretty much be able to go straight into the next craft. We gotta go look for those hoses though. We're currently at one hose. So we need to find the insulator tape or we need to find um, some other chances to get a corrugated hose. We'll make it happen. A lot of time for the next episode to make that happen. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Re uh, whoa. The Scavenger series. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.